Hi, we're Carter, and we're going to talk about neuromodulation. So firstly, what is neuromodulation? Neuromodulation is a process by which nervous activity is regulated by way of controlling the physiological levels of several classes of neurotransmitters. It is also a medical technology that alters the nerves by sending electrical or pharmaceutical agents to the direct area in the brain. Devices and treatments in this area are prominent because they can affect the whole body. From headaches, tremors, to spinal cord damages, and urinary incontinence, neuromodulation is helpful in a wide range of diseases and symptoms. And that is why it is not considered as a major growing industry of the next decade. What different kinds are there? Deep brain stimulation involves implanting electrodes within certain areas of your brain. These electrodes produce electrical impulses and can affect certain cells and chemicals within the brain. Cortical stimulation uses electrodes that are placed on the surface of the brain. Transcranial direct current stimulation is a non-invasive painless brain stimulation treatment that uses direct electrical currents to stimulate specific parts of the brain. A constant low intensity current is passed through two electrodes placed over the head which modulate neural activity. Spinal cord stimulation therapy masks pain signals before they reach the brain. A small device similar to a pacemaker delivers electrical pulses to the spinal cord. Peripheral nerve stimulation is a commonly used approach to treat chronic pain. It involves surgery that places a small electrical device next to one of the peripheral nerves. Transcranial magnetic stimulation is a non-invasive procedure that uses magnetic fields to stimulate nerve cells in the brain to improve symptoms of depression. And finally, optogenetics is a method that uses light to modulate molecular events in a targeted manner in living cells. Neuroprosthetics help people. One main example of a neuroprosthetic helping people is the cochlear implant. Hearing aids amplify sound so they may be, te be detected by damaged ears. While cochlear implants bypass damaged portions of the ear and directly stimulate, stimulate the auditory nerve. Signals generated by the implant are sent by way of the auditory nerve to the brain, which recognizes the symbols these signals as sound. This helps those with hearing difficulties who have viable nerves for the, for the procedure. And um, com brain computer interface interplay helps with this. The brain computer interface is a connection between the brain as an external ele electrical device that is used to help regulate different neural functions. Different electronics help with the neuroprosthetics, such as the external device of the cochlear implant Modulation is a significant technology because firstly, it improves the quality of life for patients in pain. Patients who have received neuromodulation treatment have been able to resume normal lives, including a return to work. Secondly, neuromodulation can be applied through different techniques. It comprises multiple treatment modality, modalities, including spinal cord stimulation, spinal drug delivery system, and so on. Disciplinary collaboration among scientists, engineers, and others to advance neuromodulation therapies through education, research, and innovation can promote and advance the highest quality patient's care in the future. In vitro studies must be done in many situations before in vivo studies, and universities provide a great environment for these studies to be done and for young students to become passionate about neuromodulation research and its effect on society. This research can then be applied to individuals who need it so that they can function better in society and lead to overall ha happier and healthier lives for, the pa for patients. Through high impact research and discovery in the field of neuromodulation, the Minnesota Drive trains the next generation of scientists and clinicians and brings new and improved therapies to Minnesotans suffering from brain conditions. The initiative will expand university partnerships with industries to bring neuromodulation innovations to market, which benefits patients and advances in the state's economy. Thank you!